Hey guys, Gabriel Phoenix here, and we're we're back at it. Um, let me start off with this before I get to mention uh, another streaming friend of mine, Mess Express. She has a Discord, so if you want to join that, um, let me know. Um, she just streams games like any other streamer, but she's. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna talk bad about her on here. But um Yeah, she she has a, a Discord now. Um our Discord is still popping kinda. Um We got a few people on here still. Um I haven't put anything in really any of the channels recently, but um that's still I think it's in the panels if you scroll down. Still. Uh, we got C4 and Manny in the chat already. What up, guys? Uh, ready? Hello, stream. Hello, guys. 10 a.m. notes. Gotta love when the brain does its magic. Like, sometimes I wish I could just work all the time, you know, with the brain needs rest or refueling. A lot of the times, it's those hours away from the work where these breakthroughs come through, uh, come from. Strange how the mind works. Exactly. Exactly. I get some of my best ideas, not necessarily when I'm sleeping, but especially when I need to be doing something else. Especially, almost exclusively when I need to be doing something else. Um, doing well, how was you feeling? I got a headache, but other than that, I'm pretty good. I just woke up an hour ago. It's getting later and later. Soon enough, it's going to be, like, back to my original schedule. Or back to uh, everybody else's schedule. I'm off of my own clock over here. Um, book plug, paperback, $20. Kindle Unlimited, three ninety nine minus 99 And Kindle Digital, $10. If you do read it, make sure you give it a rating. Rating, you only click. Uh, give it a star rating, but if you give it a rating and review, I'll shout you out like these lovely people down here. Uh, if you want to read the first five chapters free, it's on the sites Wattpad and ScribbleHub. I just recommend ScribbleHub because um, well, it, it, it got me the most traffic as far as reading goes, readers go. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, uh, I also have a Patreon if you don't want to subscribe here on Twitch. First patron gets a, sh uh, a shout out at the, I think, end of every stream or end of every video. Whether they're there or not. Um, but if you subscribe on, well not subscribe, but if you support on Patreon, there's actual perks here. Um, as opposed to subscribing on Twitch right now, which is... I don't have any emotes, so what the hell would be the point? I get it. Oh, I get it. I understand. Um, so that's that. That's all the plugs for the beginning. Uh, let, me, let me look at my notes. Uh, 1 a.m. here, just listening to the streams, having a chill time. That's what's up. That's what's up. I don't know why my thing says zero viewers, because there's obviously at least two of you guys in here. I don't understand. All right, let me see on Twitch itself. Because it, 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 uh, Twitch be effing up my, my, my average views like that, man. I'm trying to get to 75 viewers one day average so I can be partnered. But it's not going to happen if they don't give me, give me the people that are actually watching like the views to me and I, I messaged them about this and they said oh we're just trying to make sure nobody's a bot well can you do that like after you confirm that they're bots why take the views away from me dude it's it's difficult enough doing what writers do on on yeah it says zero it's muted okay it says zero I don't it's not true. Oh god, it's gonna go infinite, isn't it? It's 
gonna go infinite, SP. Um, oh well. Yeah, this is weird. This is weird. Twitch likes to screw over people who who aren't attractive females on the platform, dude. Unless you're super over the top, you're not gonna get much much help from Twitch. Twitch is like f you, you're on your own essentially. All right, we're in the next um <laughs> Infinity Stream. Yeah, we're on the next uh, beat here. We'll be done. I think the longest part of this short story is actually just gonna be the fight that they have um, between Anti and the guy Anti is supposed to rescue. Oh yeah, yeah, not many mellow streamers. A lot of them are like, oh boy, I just got shot. No. Yeah. 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 That's because they feel like they, um, that's like the only way to climb the, climb the ladder fast. And I guess that's kind of true, but um, you know, I, I, I feel like most of them are not like that in real life. Of course, you gotta ramp up your personality of some, to some degree for the camera, and sometimes I do when I'm, when I'm feeling it on stream, but, you know, this is me, guys, you, you're getting me, you're getting me, you're getting, well, a tired me right now, but you getting, it's your boy. Um, I need a chill stream to enjoy myself, yeah. I don't, I don't, only person I give a pass and he doesn't stream is like Dash XP. He, he kind of started off chill. Why does, is my eye effed up? My eye looks lazy, bro. That doesn't look any better. From the side, it looks kind of, um, Dash XP, but he kind of started off, um, he started off chill. And then gradually, over the years, got more and more ridiculous. But, um, I've been watching Dashi for years, so I'm kind of biased towards him. But I, I'm not a huge fan of those screaming gamers. I don't, do I watch a lot of gamers? No, not anymore. I just watch a whole lot of personalities I kind of grew up with. Um... All deaf digital, pretty much everybody on there, but they're not, they're not over the top. Yeah, everybody I watch is pretty much themselves. Um, so yeah, that's weird. It it says zero viewers. Switch. I'm. Mm, I've ended the stream before because the view count wasn't right, and then I messaged Twitch, and then they gave me that BS message back about. Oh, we're just making sure there's no bots and everything when I'm sure there are other streamers out there that use bots and they're not being punished in the slightest. Um, but we're not doing it for the views, guys. Well, we partially are. We're doing it for the views and because I believe in my content. If I didn't believe in my content, I wouldn't be doing it at all. And, you know, the views is what gets gets it widespread you know uh, if there are more people watching more people are inclined to click but if it says zero which it's not less people are inclined to click but it is what it is for right now F Twitch uh, I like streams where someone works rights etc cool it puts a sense of insincerity if they're reacting unrealistically for a mundane task you know yeah yeah, I I wouldn't I can't imagine many um many writers uh are over the top. Like I said, I can be when I have the energy, but recently I'm just waking up an hour before I have to stream, so I'm not at peak energy. Plus, I'm normally not eating before stream since I'm just waking up. Um. 690 views, nice. Yeah, that's that's overall. That's just, well. Now I have 691. I had 690. Now I'm at 691. I don't. 
is Twitch putting the views into the total view count? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but that's cool. We'll be at a thousand views soon, so that'll be that'll be something. Um Yeah, same. I watch mostly art analysts uh oh analyst analysis stuff, design animation writing, historical zoology. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um Alright. So Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta address the thing first, the notes. I was about to get right into writing. All right, this was last edited at 11.05 a.m. This this document I have with all of these well-timed notes. Okay, get rid of that one. Okay, so the first thing I had, and I don't know who to give this to just yet. I'll figure it out. I don't think I want it in the... Creative weapons are supposed to go kind of everywhere across all my series. Mainly, mainly descended, um, dis no, not disturbed delinquents, mainly descended, um, well, yeah, actually disturbed delinquents specialists and uh in the wind um so i'm gonna write the item down to my all special items document and you guys are gonna see what it is in a second okay then i have some world building things for in the wind and then some character things for in the wind as well well Everything after the sword thing is just for in the wind, and the sword thing could be for in the wind, so it's good. I'm getting more ideas to continuously world build another one of the series. Um, oh, now I see three views, so it's 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 better now. Cool. Thank you guys for refreshing. All right, uh, let me go to my all special items document. Nope, not on all of them. All right, cool. So this froze again. Are well, you gonna open two? You gonna open two, aren't you? Do it. Do it, you son of a gun. Do it. Trying to close out was not necessary. This is a bunch of YouTube videos. Well, no, just two open that I have right now that I plan to watch when I'm doing something else. Actually, one of them I don't, but I'm trying not to lose my spot. I know YouTube does the whole bookmark thing, but what am I watching? All right, what is this? Oh, this was a uh, all deaf stream, and this is um, P and D mustard and ketchup and mustard. They're reacting to, um, there's a new Mortal Kombat DLC dropping, and they're analyzing the trailer. Shouts out to those guys, I really like what they do on their channel. Um, okay, all special items. Oh wait, it was open here, wasn't it? Yep, well, we have a better one open now, because that earth thing means I don't think it's ready. I don't think this is ready either. What is this? Descriptions. Don't need that open right now. Alright. I did not refresh. I am apology. Every stream I've watched it, there's been a user called TT Tate, but they never speak. I And I can't at them. What the hell? I don't see him here. I don't see you. Do you see him on my stream? I can't at them here.
All right. So we're just going to add this to the bottom of the special items document. I don't know who this is going to. Maybe the blood guy. I'm thinking the blood guy, the new blood guy we're creating for the Descendants series gets this. Um, so, I'm just going to put this in brackets. I'll put my phone up here like that so I can, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, dude, maybe it's glitch. Oh, no. Oh, that's spooky. No, I can't. I can't add them. Maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe it's you, man. Oh, no. Did you go to a, did you go to a spooky stream earlier today? Maybe that's why. Somebody was like, let me attach myself. No, let me not joke sure about that. I don't, I don't have with, with the supernatural. In real life, anyway. It, it gets, it gets too real and spooky for me. Okay, so this is a sword that collects blood the more it cuts. Interesting, right? When it reaches the maximum blood capacity or the amount of blood it can hold inside, I'm thinking there it's like it has like a uh like you know how uh thermometers look like there's there's gonna be like a thing like that in the running along the center of it it could, it doesn't have to be a sword, but I imagine it being a sword because that probably just be easiest. It reaches maximum blood capacity it and then I didn't have anything after this uh, maybe it explodes uh, maybe it heats up so it, like it's easier to cut through things um, maybe it does more damage that's all I had on it right now um, I'm thinking I give this weapon to Blood Boy. It makes the most sense to me. Even though it's a pretty creative weapon that can be used across all the series, the four series that I mentioned, In the Wind. Nobody uses blood in In the Wind, plus I, I'm i not sure I want that to be YA-centric or not just yet. Um, it might be. Probably will be. Um... But in Disturbed Delinquents, there are kinetics, so it'd be a hemo kinetic, I believe. Um, and hmm, no, I don't think it'd work in uh, Disturbed Delinquents because people only have one superpower essentially. And if he has hemo kinetic and then this sword, he can't have both because. People who have really creative weapons are a class of their own, and it's kind of like their superpower in Disturbed Delinquents. And there's only one exception, the main character, that has more than one power, but um, we're not going to use it in Disturbed. And in the wind, like I said, nobody... Oh, Specialist. Um, yeah, nobody has blood manipulation in Specialist either, so it, I think it has to go to Blood Boy by, uh, by default. I don't have a name for him, that's why I keep referring to him as Blood Boy. Um, okay, hang on. You know, right before they showed up, someone said to me, I'm currently putting, oh. I like that, the more it, I don't know, you talking about, oh no. Are you doing a, are you doing a, a spooky, spooky thing right now is this is this your writing at work or is it actually or is it actually doing that that maybe maybe the the flower pot or flower something even the garden maybe that being knocked over has something to do with it hmm hmm like that, the more it kills, the deadlier it gets. It will have a limit to how much more power it can gain. 
Yeah, like once it reaches its full thing, it's not gonna overflow or anything. It just I don't know what I'm gonna have it do yet, but it's a cool concept. Um, so that's there. That's that's for Blood Boy. Let's go to the new characters document and add that weapon to his arsenal. I say arsenal. There are only a few characters of mine that have arsenals of weapons. Like uh, Fulger is one of them. Anti, the guy we're about to continue writing about, has an arsenal of weapons. Um, well, Michael, technically speaking, has an arsenal of weapons because, you know, he can summon them at will. But I mean arsenal as far as, like, them having special weapons. Okay, where is Blood Boy? He is... There he is. Easy. Weapon, small blade of some sort. Actually, well... Um, blood sword. And this, I need a better name for that too, and I need a better name for him. And then we'll just copy over what we have on it. And that's not even all the notes, guys. We do have to get to back to anti story at least a little bit, but I want to finish writing these notes out to try and make sense of whatever the hell I was thinking it. 11 a.m. today. Uh, cool, cool, sweet weapon. Appreciate. It. Appreciate. It. Um, then we have some. Oh, let's uh, put this like that. So we can erase that from the notes, and then we have some other things here in a second. I think all of the rest of them have to do with the In the Wind series. Need to write a, a pitch for it. Um, world building right here. I need to scroll down to the In the Wind series in this document too, because we're gonna have some things to edit based on what I wrote. Where is it? It's Giant Slayer Specialist. Okay, here. No, yeah, okay. Plasma Miss, yeah, this guy. Okay, so the next note actually goes in this document scroll up on here so you guys can see what's happening on the left but we're not on the left right now we're on the right um so we're gonna go to characters and to do this because i had it spaced out on the other documents like so between each bullet Uh, I listened to jazz today whilst I wrote it made me so motivated for some reason. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, finding good music to write to keeps, keeps me writing as well. Like, uh, or, or drawing. It'll put me in a productive state. Um, normally anything melodic or, um, like electronic melodic, I know. It's not very stereotypical of me. But, um, or, um, 
like epic sounding like trailer music I know that's not something you probably hear about a lot but uh, yeah trailer music gets me um gets me thinking it gets me going because it, it makes me think about my stuff animated and to the music that's playing certain moments in the song that um I have specific images of happening in an animated trailer and stuff like that so um yeah finding good music to write to is always uh be productive to is always it's like a it's good it's a good thing um okay so the blacksmiths are weapon crafting um characters um that help the mancers find the perfect weapon for them meaning let's say not just meaning their element but the way they fight so you'll see in a second what I mean by that in actually the next note um, so the next note is pertaining to the second in command of this villain group that we're gonna have for in the wind I love villain groups I don't know why well I know why Vyakatsky there's a reason um, becomes a laser sword no Zashi kind of already has this so we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna change it to um, wrist gauntlets and the wrist gauntlets um, these gauntlets convert his plasma into hidden blades. So the way he fights is more like an assassin. He'll cut you up before you even know what the hell happened. And you and you're just looking at your body and this chunks missing and and you're not bleeding or anything but you can't feel anything. It's it's, it's crazy. Um so I'm thinking they're probably gonna be like Assassin's Creed things where they come out like that maybe or on top. But um or they could do both maybe he could choose um they i haven't picked a sex for them just yet but um so that's that and then uh shoot i didn't have a character to give i didn't have a character to give this to but i'm probably going to give it to the dual element guy i don't know if i like the name theo for him um we might change that not on stream, but at a later date. Um, such a good job, there are very few words, too. Perhaps that's why. Yeah, words, when I'm listening to lyrical stuff, that might distract me from what I'm doing. Oh, my God. my! It's not weird when I look at the camera, right? It's just when I look off to the side, it looks like it's it's farther than it is. Um, nerd, yep, yep, the screaming match and, and talking your enemies down, like, you shouldn't do that, being evil is bad, and they're like, oh, you're right, I shouldn't kill these people. I, I love it for the villains. Alright, um, so... This was another thing I wrote. I've been so they're knuckle dusters or just knuckles. Um, create explosive bursts of the user's element. So he'll put these on, and then there's like 
maybe a, a hole in the center of each of the knuckle dusters. And since he's um since he's a dual element type of dude, he's a special case, he has I think I'm gonna keep it fire and ice. That's just a cool combination in general. Um yeah, cool. That's that's, that's hot. That's pretty alright, sorry. Um so if he's like I imagine him like dashing around the 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 opponent, you know, and using his fire and ice to, to move around them and all of that. And then getting in close and using like a boxing type style or kickboxing style uh of fighting and you know, using his fist to I always like the boxing style for my characters because it's what I'm most familiar with. But um, using that to that style and the combination of his his dusters to, you know, put some extra power into his strikes. So if he gets in close and uh, hooks you in the rib, and then extends that with a blast of ice and freezes you in place, something like that. Or if he does it, um, not with the other side, because he's able to use both. It's not like, uh, sh it's not exactly like Shoto, uh, Todoroki from, uh, My Hero. Um, he's able to use both on both sides or both of them, or, or just one at a time in both hands if he wants to. Like, he's a, a mancer, he's a master at using both, so, um, so he can hook you, freeze you in place, and then hit you with a hit you across the jaw and then the fire like explodes from his fist and yeah um so that's what i'm imagining with him uh i didn't when i wrote this down i didn't imagine it for him but immediately after i wrote it down and then thought of who to give it to as far as like anybody in the cast of in the wind um i was like you know what it'd be kind of cool if he had these um Plus, these are not your traditional weapons. It's not like... I don't think anybody right now in the End of Wind series has a sword. And I'm pretty proud of that. I want these weapons to be as creative as possible. Like, one of... Somebody's gonna have lightning. And you've probably heard of this combination before. But they're gonna have lightning and... Um, and use yo-yos as their weapon. So, they're, the wire from the... It's not gonna be like a, a yarn yo-yo. But the wire from the yo-yo conducts, it's metal, so it conducts electricity. And since they're a lightning, lightning mancer, it's not like electromancer. Um, I believe that's the term. Yeah, electromancer. Um, they're able to, like, they can wrap the yo-yo around your neck. They do the walk the dog or whatever, and then sling it around your neck. You're like, oh, God, you're choking me out. And they're like, oh, yeah. And they snap, and the lightning shoots through the, the wire and shocks them and knocks them out. Something like that. Um, I just got to figure out who. I think the main character, Aura, and I might change her name too, because the series was supposed to be completely different. It was supposed to be completely fantastical and, oh my god, it's, so, it's such a beautiful world. Let's explore this world together. And all of these different races coming together, like... The, there were supposed to be elves and orcs and dwarves and all of that other, I was going to swear, all of that other stuff. Um, there's going to be space whales in it too. Because I like space whales, sky whales, all of them, all of the whales. Any whale that's not in the ocean, the ocean freaks me out and anything in the ocean freaks me out. But um, it's going to be space whales and all of that stuff. I'm definitely going to keep the space whales for this series. But I think space whales should be this uh, just a continuing thing. Space whales are too good not to put anywhere. I have a few wallpapers of space whales. Maybe next time you guys see one of them. Oh god. Okay, let me this. Um. But yeah, I gotta figure out if anybody, probably somebody on the team might have lightning, and the yo-yo thing. Probably gonna be female. I think I might only have one. There's only going to be four main characters, four protagonists. Um, and I'm probably going... There's probably only going to be one guy. And the rest female. Because 
I, first of all, I don't, um, I tend to make most of my cooler characters male. So, like, anti, for example. Um, so I want to see what happens if I make, well, at least the main cast of characters female. Um, I could do it two and two, where there's two guys and two females. But, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, main villain, I don't know if they're, they're going to be male or female yet. The second in command, the plasma hidden blade person, don't know whether they're going to be male or female. Um, it's an important decision for me sometimes, um, depending on what the character can do. Um, so, yeah. I think we had one more note. Yeah, there's only going to be two Plasmomancers. I'm going to add this note up here. Only two Plasmomancers. The evil assassin. The one that has the hidden plasma blades. And some sort of Dragon Ball Z style character where they can create orbs and blasts from the plasma not in the air I think certain mancers in this list should be able to generate it because plasma is not everywhere plasma is not everywhere I'm sorry plasma is not everywhere I don't think there's plasma in the air right now and if I'm wrong science me to death right now well not to death but science me up um, I just spelled my answer wrong. No, not answers. No, what? Four. Um, so, I think pla the two plasma mancers should be able to generate it. Uh, plant, no, they're not going to be able to generate it. Glass, they might have to. Because glass is not everywhere. Especially in, well, glass... There's windows and stuff, but glass as far as like a fantasy world where there's like villages instead of cities, there's not going to be glass everywhere. Um, magma, they might have to generate maybe a limited amount. I got to figure it out. I got to figure out the balancing for this. Um, and the Dragon Ball the esque character that creates beans, orbs, and balls um, of plasma. Uh, I think that was all the notes, so I'm going to clear this out. And I will read your comments. I know you guys have been sending comments. I was kind of just on a tangent. I'll read them in just a sec as I clear this out. So we got a new group of people, the blacksmiths, that are crafting these crafty weapons for all of these mancers. I think the blacksmiths are going to remain neutral just for the sake of story and for the sake of story. Um, alright, let me scroll up here. Since I started writing, I've had three nightmares. One related to a story I wrote, the other two were just creepy. Before that, I only had two nightmares that I remember. Since you started writing in general, what's your favorite 1v1 fight in Naruto? Naruto Shippuden. Uh, either the first valley one with Naruto versus Sasuke where they Naruto gets like one tail and Sasuke gets the cursed state or Rock Lee versus Gara that one kind of just makes me sad for Rock Lee though because that was brutal um I don't think I ever saw the entire Sasuke versus Itachi fight um Jirai versus Pain was pretty good, but that was also brutal. Um, hmm. 
Any one of those. I know there's some other good ones I'm missing, but any one of those. Yeah. Uh, actually, IDK, I want to put it. It could be any fight. Um, yeah. I'd say in any. You know. I wish I could play Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, man. My brother let me borrow it, and I tried to put I already beat the story of it, but I tried to put it back on my PS4, and it wouldn't load. I don't know what it is. Every time my brother lets me borrow his Ultimate Ninja Storm, whatever, like, I had a PS... Well, I have a PS3. Well, did we sell it? We might have sold it. Um, I had a PS3 where... Um, we had the first Ultimate Ninja Storm. We had seen it online so many times. We used to visit Naruto.com all the freaking time. Um, and, yeah, we would see uh, Ultimate Ninja 3 and Ninja Storm on there all the time. We'd be like, yo, look at these super moves. We'd look up the super moves on YouTube and watch them over and over. And um, we finally got it one day on PS3. And... One night, I just played it. I played it, played it, played it forever. And this was like years after we'd stopped going on Naruto.com, but we finally got a hold of it. And I played it the entire night, and then I tried to give it back to my brother the next morning, and it would not work. It didn't work. Then he gave me Storm 4. It didn't work on my PS4. Like, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I don't know why. I don't know why. And what's crazy in, is Storm 4, I didn't know that it had that, like, story mode in Storm 4. Like, it had the, the fight arc thing, where it was like, you gotta go through the story and all that. But then it had its own, like, original type of thing for the, uh, it had, a, like, a, a world you could roam. Yeah, a world you could roam. And I think, I think, um, Ultimate Ninja did that as well. Pretty sure Ultimate Ninja did that, and we beat that. Into the ground. It's an entirety. Um, yeah. Uh, nothing was ever ruined with Space Whales. Only approved, of course. Who doesn't like Space Whales, bro? Space Whales. Fuck the goat. There's another animal. Space Goats. Space Goats should be a thing. Uh, plasma like the state of matter or plasma like that Mor Morbius craves. Oh, I got you, DBZ. Which one is DBZ? Because I'm thinking plasma like lightsaber plasma. Or are there two dif are there two different kinds? I didn't know. Oh gosh, I'm using a I'm using an element I didn't know about. Good God. Mato versus Guy Sensei is classic for me. Oh, you mean when he goes Night Guy? That is pretty good. I don't think I saw it in the anime, but like I said, I played Storm 4. I know it's not the same, but it was pretty cool. Um, and Shippuden Rock Lee versus Shira is dope as hell. Shira? Who is Shira? I didn't watch, I'm ashamed to say, I didn't watch um, Shippuden in its entirety, and I didn't fully finish. Well, I did kind of finish piecing it together um the normal naruto naruto one um i'm re-watching it, it on youtube right now i put it on originally thinking i was just gonna do it as like background but it's like the non it's like non-filler and it's just the story on netflix and i was just like i'm gonna sit here and watch this and i i effed around one night and i just Ended up binging a whole bunch of episodes without even knowing. I was like, what am I doing? I'm supposed, this is supposed to be background. And I ended up listening to it, watching it. Okay, so we have that done. We can go back to the abandoned angel for these past last eight minutes. Um, okay. Here's in a dim room, dim hall. Let's say appears in the center. 
of a dim hall. There are torches along the walls provide the only source no proving providing the only source of light he looks beneath his boots and sees uh, a summoning circle on there oops see the summoning circle that appears to have been drawn with dry blood looks to each of the smaller circles on the edges of the edge it doesn't make sense here but whatever of the cir summoning circle and begins piecing together what must be done one thing one method of summoning did not work he would try another he walks to the to one of the uh, smaller circles of the summoning circle um, draws a hallowed hook and slices at his palm letting blood drip onto a smaller circle Dude. And I turns to see two uh, safe beings clad in uh, no worries, it's filler. Oh, the Rockley uh, versus Shira fighters filler. Oh, okay. What could Shira do? Like, I know all the news just have like their own abilities and stuff. Oh, there's this guy my brother and I keep saying R.I.P. about. This is this uh, one ninja called Menma in one of the filler things. Like, my brother and I used to go to the local library and rent out the um, uh, Naruto DVDs, whatever they had. And there was one with a guy named Menma on it. Ah, Menma sacrificed himself, bro. I think he was part of, like, a gang of some sort. It was supposed to kill a village of some sort, and... He ended up going against them, and then Menma done blew himself up, bro, R.I.P. Menma. Alright, turns to two, two, being, two beings clad in, um, let's pull up a picture. It's white, gold, blue, probably black. I don't think I added black to her thing, but. Yeah. Excuse me. I mean, her hair is black. Clad in white. Gold. Blue. And black.
Um, hmm. Closes his bleeding palm. And begins to heat his fist up, ready to fight. Tai says nothing. And the two beings exchange confused looks. Because to me, it looks like you're trying to summon something. <laughs> I am. Anti answers. I'm not sure if he can avoid a fight still. No, let's not, let's not say almost frightens. But her presence is something anti takes note of. <laughs> he pauses before revealing the reason he has. Attempting to get into contact with the Egyptian gods. I think I made them children of Horus, Haru. Where would I find that? Maybe in the old new character document. Let me check to make sure they're children of Haru before I um and not Osiris before I um continue because I need to know the dynamic they have when Haru shows up here between the two siblings and Haru himself I don't think he's their brother I'm gonna check this uh, make note of it and then uh, we're gonna end the stream Yeah, only daughter of Horus. Okay. Oh, she's at the top. Alright, good to know. Mother is human. Okay.
Uh, man, you got characters for days. I do. I do. I have 300 C4. I have 300. I would type more in chat, but I'm too comfy. Oh, no, don't worry about it, man. We're about to, we're about to end the stream anyway. You're good? You're good. I'm just glad you, you both are here. Glad you guys could chill with me today. Um, all right. Um, for revealing the reason he has to come, let me end this sentence here. Tends to get in contact with the Egyptian gods. Anti informs the two. The one that first caught Anti's attention slowly, uh, lightly chuckles, and the chuckle turns into a roaring laugh that echoes throughout the hall. Anti stares at him intensely, but the being doesn't seem to notice or care about the heavenborn's death stare. Oh, shoot. I, I really want to... Okay, give me a few minutes. I really want to finish. I'm kind of on a roll right now. I'm gonna, I have, like, the next few lines in mind. Um, yeah, it's been a nice chill stream. I appreciate it. appreciate it. I'd have music going, but I've been getting muted audio from supposedly copyright free playlists and all this stuff, so it's kind of just BS. Plus, the stream slow down, slows down. My documents and everything slows down significantly, so I'm, I'm probably just going to need a... I'm gonna get a PC soon, as soon as I can get funds and stuff from all the many things I'm doing. Versus brow. And being a female being. Nods and smiles. Is there a comma supposed to be there? No. You know you come from the angels have been born. Hate them born, huh? I begins to walk with them further down the hall. Where are you taking me? The specter asks. dead. The male being says, let's have them introduce themselves and then I'm, I think I'm going to end it. 
um, until it, by the way. Sam Khalid, by the way. Demigod of Wind. And this is my sister, Kit. Demigod of Fire. Is that the Egyptian? Salutes, anti, and they finally reach. No. And continue walking and make conversation. Let's say, and making conversation. And then we're going to end it there. We'll figure out, we'll improv some, some, uh, some conversation next time we stream. Oh, today's Thursday, so we don't stream till Saturday then. Okay. Um, what will be your budget for the PC? I have no idea yet. I left my part-time, so I'm kind of just living on savings at the moment. Um... But, um, you know, whenever, whenever the book picks up, which is why it's important for me to, uh, well, it's important for the, um, for me to try and try and sell it. Um, and it's important for me to get in contact with a literary agent. Um, it's also why it's important for the book to be rated and all of that, um, because the ratings jump us up thousands of rankings in Amazon store so more people see it um, so right now I don't have a budget I have a bunch of people to pay right now as far as um, the audiobook and the children's book right now then I have rent to pay and all of that um, so I, I, it's it's you know I don't really have an income right now so it, it'll it might have to be a little bit in the a little bit down the line, um, but yeah, um, let me close that out. Plug the book. Um, if you want to support on, if you don't want to subscribe on Twitch, I understand because there's no emails, but um, support. Uh, I have Patreon. There's perks to each tier here. Um, first patron gets a shout out at the end of every stream, regardless of whether they're there or not. Um, I think that was the shout out. Yeah, that's my first patron. Yeah. Um, so that's there. Um, book plug. Uh, have a good night, mate. Nice stream. Hope you feel better after you sleep. I uh, appreciate it, uh, Manny. Thank you. Thank you both, Manny and C4, for stopping by and, and chatting with your boy today. Um, paperback, $20. Kindle Unlimited, free $99. Nice $99. Kindle Digital, $10. If you read it, make sure you give it a rating. Ratings are super effing important. Um, uh, if you give it a rating and review, I'll share you. I'll let these people down below. Uh review you know you just give a quick little thing here and give it five stars if you if you enjoy it and um yeah so we're, we're gonna 
head on out. Uh, I don't stream tomorrow, but I will be back here Saturday at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, depending on what I'm doing tomorrow night, I might live stream that. Just be on the lookout, have your notifications active, because I might do, I'm probably going to start doing random gaming streams. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to read the first five chapters of The Sin and Awakening, they are free on both Scribble Hub and Wattpad. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and stream. Oh man, the button was not ready at all today. The button just got up too. <laughs> Alright, JBase Phoenix once again. Signing off.